Today we talk about the N64. <laughs> Best system ever. The N64 was a lot of fun. You could play up to four players. You could have all your friends over and you could all have a lot of fun, you know. Uh, with Mario Kart, Mario Party, you could play uh, also Pokemon Stadium if they brought the transfer part like, and their little uh, Pokemon Game Boy Color um, cartridge. Depending on which one they had, blue, red, and, and uh, yellow, you couldn't do silver or gold and Pokemon Stadium one. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I played a lot of GoldenEye. My neighbors, we played that all day long, you know. It was way too much fun. This one doesn't have the red ex RAM expander. I have a black one, it's a different one. Uh, it, it, it really is just a thing on top that makes it look way cooler. It's not red, it's just black, you know. It's just different. Uh, this one. <sighs> A lot of people don't know this was for the expansion for the 64 DD that never came out, only came out in Japan. But didn't sell that well. It still works pretty well. I want to do a HDMI over here, like um, I want to solder that in. To get the whole kit, it's $150 plus the soldering is maybe $80 to $60. So it does raise up the value of the N64 making it uh, at least like a $300 system if you won't sell it. If it is an HDMI one, you know. But that's hard to get. The other N64 that I have is the Pikachu N64. This one, this one, it's pretty rare. This came out in the Toys R Us back in the year 2000 uh, with Hey You Pikachu, which I do have uh, right here. I have the Hey You Pikachu, as you can see it's branded on top. This one, it's really rare. I wish I had the box, you know. I, I don't. I don't have the box. I almost got the box last week. Somebody got there right before I did. You know, it's kind of sad. But hey, you know, in the future maybe I'll I'll have one, a complete one. Uh, it doesn't have the RAM expander. It just has a regular one, but still, you know, I do have this one with the RAM expander. It doesn't matter. It is a little bit bigger than the regular ones, just because of the Pikachu on the side over here. But it still works really well. It works better than this one, you know. This one feels like it's brand new. Um, I am going to show you a couple games that I grew up with. You know, there's a couple that just hold dear to my heart, like, you know, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Especially the one for the N64. This is the first one that I played. I didn't play it on the PlayStation until maybe a little bit later. But I, my friend had it, we used to go to his house, he used to be a skateboarder, we used to skateboard on this, you know. I'm not that good, I really am not. Uh, no Mercy, I love wrestling. Um, this game was a lot of fun, we had way too much fun. You know, trying to beat up and beat the story, and create your own character. Love it, you know. Uh, of course, Super Smash Brothers. Uh, I don't know why my copy is like this, probably something sticky. Who knows, you know, I know that I play this way too much. This is the same copy that I had for years. And way too much memories uh, were made. Uh, Cruising World. This one was my neighbor's uh, best game ever. You know, I don't think he liked it too much. Uh, I loved it, this game. I used to play on the arcade a lot. I wish, it would, like, when I was a little kid, I used to think it was like the arcade one, but now it's like I just want to like, you know, rev the engine. Another one is Mario Kart 64. This game, you know, almost everyone has, everyone has played. It's a lot of fun, you know, it's four players, and you could try to get shortcuts so people could hate you for the rest of your life. It's, you know, a lot of fun. Creating friendships, tearing friendships apart. Uh, Pokemon Snap, it's another game. Another game that I could probably beat in an hour. Just because it's not, it's not that it's easy, but it's it's fair. Like it's it's a lot of fun, you know. I just know where everything is, so it's a lot easier. Uh, Pokemon Stadium, uh, Pokemon Stadium. I played a lot with my transfer pack. I put my Pokemon Red. I was able to transfer a lot faster with Pokemon uh, Blue and Red that I had. So I was able to get all 151 Pokemon. That's including Mew. You could do a glitch. You could actually get them legally on the game itself. You don't have to use Game Shark. Just do it like that. It took me many hours to do that game. You know, 
Uh, the other thing that I do have that I just got recently was, uh, of course, the Pokemon Stadium Seal that I have back there and the Perfect Dark. This is another game that I used to play with my friends a lot. This game uh, is up to like eight players, uh, but of course, four of them could be bots, four of them are humans. And you go and you, and you play. You do need the RAM expander for this. Without it, uh, the game is not unlocked all the way. You can still play it. Not like uh, not like Donkey Kong, they don't let you play or, or uh, Majora's Mask, they don't let you play it either. This one lets you play a little bit, lets you play just enough, you know, up to four players too. So you could, if you could have it, you could play with your friends, you know. But this game, it's nice, still complete in the box in mint condition, like, it's perfect. Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe down below and to turn on notifications. I have a lot more videos coming out. I want to do a lot of uh, Let's Plays because I have a lot of different games uh, that you've probably never seen. I want to do a couple unboxings too. I might open that Pokemon Stadium. I kind of want to, I kind of don't. You know, I kind of want to just keep it. I have a couple games that are coming up that I reserve, like Death Stranding. I, I'm probably going to do an unboxing for that right at midnight when I get it. So thank you so much. Remember to subscribe and to like this video. Thank you all.